And we begin tonight with that horrific story. Several Americans, mothers and their children, ambushed and killed in Mexico. Nine people killed in all, including six children, attacked while traveling in three separate cars. One car riddled with bullets and incinerated by fire, trapping this mother, her infant twins, and two other children inside. None of them survived. Several other children were wounded, at least five flown by helicopter to a hospital in Arizona tonight. Some of those children survived because of a 13-year-old boy who helped them hide behind trees. Tonight, who was behind this attack? ABC's chief national affairs correspondent, Tom Yamas, leads us off from Mexico. Nita and four of my grandchildren are burnt and shot up. Tonight, this charred, bullet-ridden SUV marks the massacre that a Mexican drug cartel unleashed on an American family. Three women and at least six children, including twin infants, ambushed and shot in a remote mountainous area south of the U.S. border. These images show some of the survivors, including at least five children who were flown by helicopter to be treated for gunshot wounds in Tucson, Arizona. They somehow escaped the slaughter. The oldest who was um, 13, I believe, he, he hid them all under a bush on the side of the road, told him to stay, and he ran. The victims, all part of a fundamentalist Mormon group that lived in the border region for decades. Victims' relatives say the group was traveling by caravan, picking up family members, preparing for an upcoming wedding. They were traveling in three separate SUVs, deep in narco territory and amid an ongoing cartel war. Mexican officials think the women's SUVs may have been mistaken by rival drug gangs. Relatives say at one point one of the mothers got out of her vehicle with her hands up to show they were families. The gunman shot her point blank in the chest. Mexico has always been safe for us growing up. I always felt safe there. And just in the last few months, it's gotten, it's gotten a little scary. President Trump reacting to the horrific news, tweeting, if Mexico needs or requests help in cleaning out these monsters, the United States stands ready, willing, and able to get involved and do the job quickly and effectively. Es un asunto que nos corresponde. But Mexico's president saying their country will handle this alone, vowing justice. But it's unclear what that will look like. Just last month, Mexican security forces were outgunned by a drug cartel, all caught on camera. This body cam showing Mexican commandos pleading with the son of drug kingpin El Chapo after they had taken him into custody to call off his narco militia. The government releasing this graphic video to show they had to let El Chapo's son eventually go and retreat to save lives. The drug violence getting worse in Mexico, and tonight, an American family that was ready to celebrate a wedding, now preparing for several funerals. This is such an awful story. Tom Yamas reporting live from Mexico City tonight. And Tom, we're learning more about that brave boy who hid those other young survivors before then uh, getting help himself. That's right, David. He was just 13 years old and so brave. He took his siblings, who were all bleeding from gunshot wounds. He stuck them in some bushes. He covered them with branches. And then, David, he walked 14 miles to get help back home. And because of his work, eight children are alive tonight. I had a chance to speak with a former Mexican intelligence officer. I asked him, how could these vicious criminals shoot innocent women and children? His children response, David, because they can. They're the law in that part of Mexico, and no one will stop them. The David. chilling reality, Tom, and as you point out, that boy went 14 miles for help. Tom, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.